the most common type of liver tumour is hepatoblastoma, a type of embryonal tumour. The other is hepatocellular carcinoma. Hepatoblastoma and hepatocellular carcinomas are primary tumours. The liver is a site for the development of secondary tumours that spread from other parts of the body. These secondary tumours are not classified as hepatic tumours. The causes of primary cancers of the liver are not fully understood. A very small number of cases of hepatoblastoma occur in association with congenital anomalies and familial conditions. Hepatocellular carcinomas are more common in countries that have a high incidence of hepatitis B. Children who are infected with hepatitis B have a higher risk of developing hepatocellular carcinoma than uninfected children. However, the incidence of hepatitis B infection in children in the UK is fortunately very low. The most common symptoms of liver cancer in children are a lump or swelling in the abdomen, which can sometimes be painful, weight loss, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting. A variety of tests and investigations will be carried out to confirm the diagnosis if a hepatic tumour is suspected. An ultrasound scan or CT or MRI scan should reveal the presence of a tumour in the liver. A biopsy will be taken to confirm the diagnosis. Blood tests will also be carried out. Most cancers of the liver produce a protein called alpha feta protein or AFP, a tumour marker. It's possible to measure levels of AFP in the blood. This can be a useful indicator of whether the tumour is responding to treatment or whether it may have come back after treatment has finished. Liver tumours need to be removed surgically. A system called Pretext uses MRI scanning to establish the extent of the tumour in the liver and to determine whether it has spread to other parts of the body. Smaller liver tumours can be removed surgically right from the beginning. However, most tumours are too large and need to be shrunk first with chemotherapy treatment. Chemotherapy will also be used for those tumours that have spread to other parts of the body. In the most extreme cases where the whole of the liver has been involved by tumour, liver transplantation is an option and is highly successful when used in the right population of patients. Liver cancer treatment often causes side effects, and these will be discussed before treatment starts. The possible side effects of treatment depend on the part of the body being treated, but may include nausea and vomiting, hair loss, reduced resistance to infection, bruising and bleeding, tiredness, and gut and nutritional symptoms. These problems are all temporary and can be minimized with good supportive care. A number of children may develop persistent side effects as a result of treatment, sometimes many years later. These are known as late effects, these can include impaired hearing, a change in heart function, a small increase in the risk of developing a second cancer later in life. Liver transplantation carries with it lifelong consequences relating to the need for immunosuppression to prevent rejection. The cure rates for hepatoblastoma are very good, even for children with advanced disease. Hepatocellular carcinoma is more challenging and cure is very dependent on the ability to safely carry out complete surgical resection of the tumour, especially as these tumours 
don't tend to shrink quite so well with chemotherapy. Children will have regular follow-up to check for any recurrence of the cancer and for any problems that may result as a result of the treatment they were given. If the liver cancer comes back after initial treatment, this is known as relapse. This may be in the liver or in other parts of the body. Relapse may be diagnosed by blood tests before anything is seen on scans, as the levels of alpha-fetoprotein are very sensitive and rising levels can indicate an early relapse. However, small rises in AFP can be normal, especially after surgery. The choices for relapse treatment are complex and the prognosis and treatment needed will depend on where in the body the tumour recurs and the type of treatment used to treat the initial cancer. Your doctor will discuss all of the options with you.